caught in the crossfire. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Matt Bass Ninja. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Vibe Skipjack 90 kayak. I'm going to give you some pros and cons, some of the things that I like about it, some of the things that I don't, and uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. All right, everyone, so here you go. This is the Vibe Skipjack 90. I've got it in this kind of orange and black uh, colorway. The Skipjack 90 is right about nine foot and it weighs just about 60 pounds. Um, so it's not too heavy, not too overly large. Um, it's one of the reasons why I chose to go uh, for this specific one. So let's get into some of the features on this. We'll just kind of go front to back. Um, first thing, got a nice solid handle here on the front for picking it up easy carry like i said the thing is light handle makes it easy too um, right here is just for like your water relief this is going to screw off in case you get any water inside the hole you can get any water out for that um, these bungee straps and this kind of setup that it has here on the front uh, come with it as well um, you can just take those right off the knob if you want to that kind of thing most of the time i store my pfd up here stick my paddles in there that kind of thing uh, moving down um, it does have kind of these like holster things on the side. You can stick your paddle there if you wanted to. Um, I don't really use it that much, to be honest. Um, you'll notice on the sides too, we got those four placements for your feet. Same thing over here as well. Um, these are nice, like nice and solid into the hole. Um, just depending on your height, stuff like that will probably determine which ones that you use. I'm about five foot eight. So it's a good size for me. If you're a giant person, maybe get something a little bigger. Um, in the middle here, they include these fittings, um, for any kind of device you might sit on there. So maybe a fish finder, something like that. Um, we have this first set of scupper holes here on the front i have mine open for that cup holder which is great um, you also notice we got one rod holder here and one here um, these are good these are nice and deep too so i normally don't really worry about my rod coming out or anything like that um, there's two uh on the back side as well one here and one here i would not put your poles in to the back there just because there's a good chance because of how close it is to the seat you'll bump it with your paddle rod goes into the river Everybody's sad. I've done it before, so that's why I'm warning you. Um, in the middle here, we got the dry socket. You can see it's kind of got the Vibe logo on here. It's kind of cool. That just twists open. And uh, I mean, it's it's pretty good for what it is. I got a little monster can in there. Um, one of the things I will say that is a con in terms of how this goes is that this uh, little net that you have in here, I don't know if you can see, it has a little bit of play in here. So basically there's a ring that goes around this that fits into these fittings that you see uh, along the kayak here. And so this actually isn't a watertight seal. Um, if you've ever taken on water in the kayak and stuff like that, of course you want your stuff to be watertight. In my experience, I had the top of this on, I had it screwed down, everything like that. I took on some water from a wake of a boat that came over the side there. And um, I ended up with a good bit of water in my hull. Um, so that's something to consider. Um, I don't keep anything like super precious in there anyway. Most of the time I'll just stick my keys in there, maybe a bait or something if I'm doing a quick swap. Um, but otherwise, uh, it's pretty good. <clears throat> so let's move on to the seat. Um, the way that the seat fits in, um, this top part folds down. It connects with these two bungees on these fittings that are on the back here. They're attached to the seat via this rope. All this stuff comes with it as well. Whenever you're done with it, you would just take these bungees off, remove them from it, and it's going to sit down flat like that in the back. Same for when you stick it up. Um, so this is the actual like floor seat. It has these uh, kind of where it's like screwed in to the hole here. The second pair of scupper holes are underneath this seat. And that is a con for me personally, because pretty much unless you have those filled in, as soon as you send off in this thing, you're going to take on water in your butt and nobody likes swamp ass on the river. Um, so I took the seat off, put scupper uh, fillers in that. Um, so those are all sealed up now, but um, yeah, so I wasn't a huge fan of that just because it's kind of a pain. There's a ton of these little screws all around the seat and it's a pain to pull it all off just to fill the scupper holes on and put it back on. Um, <clears throat> so there's that. This seat itself on the hull here is pretty thin, to be honest. Like you have a little bit of like padding in here. It feels like a gel kind of thing, um, but the, you can see how close it is to the hole. Like there is not much padding there at all. So if you're on a longer trip, um, most of the time, you know, my, my butt starts to hurt after a while. So maybe get like a stadium pad or something like that. Sit that in there just to make it easier time for yourself, a little more comfortable. Um, those are the last set of scupper holes in the back. <clears throat> I have those filled. I normally put like a backpack, you know, um, 
all my uh, lures and tackle, all that kind of stuff in the back here. So I just try to keep that stuff dry. And you got a nice handle on the back there too. And the uh, fittings on the back, obviously they all connect to the same kind of bungee system that you have on the front. Um, but oh, there's a lot of room there, so you can fit pretty much however much gear you have. Like you could probably fit like, you know, your cooler plus your tackle box and the backpack or whatever back there fine. Uh, and it's not gonna get wet or anything like that. So overall, I think this kayak is great for what I use it for. Um, it's smaller and it's lightweight, meaning that I could just pick this up and shoulder it, walk it to the lake, the river, whatever. And I think that's one of the biggest benefits of it. You don't need multiple people to help you to load this on your car or help you get it down to the water, or out of the water. Um, you'll be able to do it by yourself most of the time. Um, and so uh, for me, I've, I've found it's not really that big of a pain to do that. It's not super duper heavy. So like, you know, you'll be able to make your track uh, back and forth. Um, brand new um, from the Vibe outlet that I got it from, I think I paid around 500 bucks. Obviously you still need PFD and paddle, that sort of thing after that. Um, but right around 500 is what you'd be looking at uh, for these. Um, if you have a smaller vehicle like I do, I just have a two door coupe. Um, this can be strapped to this top, uh, ratcheted down, that kind of thing. It'll still be safe like because one because of its lightweight but also because of the length only being nine foot most of the time your car is going to be just a bit longer than uh this kayak is so you know you can confidently set it up there and you know know that it's not going to go flying past you on the highway on your way to your fishing spot um so i would definitely recommend this kayak for anybody who's doing a lot of solo fishing you want to have something that's portable and easy for you to get in and out of the water on and off of your car those kind of things it has some amenities for fishermen and stuff like that being the rod holders as well as the compartments that are on the back and front that a lot of space there so you could fit pretty much whatever you would need to bring on your trip there and everything will be fine um, the only down points that i really have for this are that bottom of the seat the scupper holes being under the seat because swamp ass and the dry socket um, in the middle um, being not so watertight um, but as i showed in the beginning you have that water relief at the front so if any water gets in you can just dump it out um, hopefully you're being safe out there kayaking so you're not really taking on a whole lot of wake and things like that when you're on the water anyway but things happen um, so I would recommend this kayak to anybody who's new who's thinking about getting into kayaking or fishing or whatever or you're already fishing and you just want a little bit better water access and things like that um, it's made my fishing experience overall so much better um, and I have friends who have kayaks now too so we'll all go out together and that sort of thing and it's just nice to be out um, in the water and be out in nature and stuff and kind of get that disconnect from uh you know, daily life and those kind of things. So um, overall, it's been a great um, positive experience for me. If you're lucky enough to live by a Vibe outlet, you could go there and check these out um, or pick up one of their other products. Um, all the people there that I dealt with were uh, very kind. They were great to, you know, go along with no pushy sales types or nothing like that. They were all just seemed like chill people who, you know, like to kayak and be in the outdoors and stuff like that too. Um, if you try to order through their online store, it might be a while before you get it. Um, these are, you know, sought after uh, kayaks and rigs and things like that and so i know there have been some delays in terms of their online store but if you're already thinking about buying one of these and you want to go with the vibe it would be worth your time to make the trip over to the outlet you know see it in person see some of their other products and then toss it on your car and head back so that's going to do it for this video guys hope you enjoyed uh hope it helps you make a more informed decision and uh hopefully you get out there and get fishing and get kayaking thanks don't forget to like comment and subscribe